speeds the bucket can have without having the water spill out when the bucket's at the top or the rope break when the bucket is at the bottom. So when the bucket reaches its lowest point, like right here, what we want to do is realize that we've got a force tension from the rope pulling up on the bucket and we've got the force of gravity pulling down on the bucket. At this point, the bucket will have to have the greatest force tension to keep it moving in its circular path. So we do acceleration equals force net over mass. It gives you the mass of the bucket. That would be 1.69. Uh, for the force net, we would use tension as the positive force because it's pointing toward the center of the circle, minus the force of gravity, which we can calculate by doing mass times 9.8. It tells us the breaking strength of the rope. So to find our maximum speed, we put the breaking strength of the rope in here. We use our mass to get our force gravity here, and we get the acceleration of the bucket. This acceleration is toward the center of the circle, so we then use acceleration equals V squared over R. It gives us the radius of the circle, so we use that along with the acceleration that we just found to find the maximum speed that the bucket can have at the bottom of the circle. Okay, once we have that, we then want to find the minimum speed the bucket can have when it reaches the top of the circle. So we allow the bucket to keep going. We get it when the bucket is completely upside down. And at this point we're not looking at the rope, we're looking at the water in the bucket. And we want to make sure that the water does not spill out. So we've got gravity pulling the water down. We've got force normal from the bottom of the bucket pushing down on the water. And when the speed hits the minimum value without spilling, that force normal will be set to zero. So again, we do acceleration equals force net over mass. The force net would be normal plus gravity. We're adding them because they're both in the same direction. They're both positive because they both point to the center of the circle. Again, we plug a zero in here. We use the mass to get the force gravity. We get our acceleration and we plug it into acceleration equals V squared over R to get the minimum speed. We now have the minimum and maximum speed that the bucket can have and that's what we're looking for. The minimum speed at the top so the water does not spill and the maximum speed at the bottom so that the rope does not break.